In this PowerPoint lesson, I want to deal with the outline tab, which is right here. Okay, so we've been looking at the little slide miniatures up until now, but I want you to know that there's another one here called outline. So I'm going to click on that, and that brings up a bulleted list representation of your slide presentation. Now, you can actually build and create slides right from here. Uh, and oftentimes, it'll actually save you time. If you have on a, in a Word file or on a sheet of paper exactly the, the data that you want in your presentation, this might actually be quicker. A couple things you need to know though. So right now, I'm on slide three. And slide three has a bulleted list and it has a two level bullets list. So these are the main bullets right here, where address, and then there's a lower level here underneath. Okay, so you've got title, you've got the main bullet, and then you've got the minor bullet, just so you know where we're at. When I hit enter right here, I'm going to get another of exactly what I have now, which is a small bullet, but I want a new slide. And in order to get a new slide, I need to do something that's called promote. I need to go up two levels so from my home tab i'm able to promote i'm looking for a promote button i may not be able to find it because they might have changed the way this works but i believe that if i decrease list level right here it'll bring me back up one and then i want to come back up one more and there you go so now i have a new slide if i wanted if i forgot and i wanted to go the other way i can just go that way Okay, tab and shift tab would do the same. So if I go shift tab once and then shift tab another time, I'm back up. So now I want slide four. I'm just making stuff up here. So slide four would be here. Now, again, when I hit enter, I'm gonna get another of exactly what I have. So it's going to assume that I want a new slide. But if I don't and I want a bullet for my list, I would hit tab or I would hit this which is increased list level. So now I have my first bullet list. So it's a first level bullet. And then if I hit enter, I get another first level bullet. And enter, I get another. But if I wanted to go down one level, again, tab would bring me down or I can use this button and this would be a second level. So you'll notice as I'm typing here, it's building my slide, right? Now when I hit enter, I'm getting another, and if I wanted to go back to another slide, I would have to do this twice. And now I'm on to slide five. So that is how you can work inside of the outline pane in order to build or grow your slide presentation.